Every year we get excited for what OnePlus has to offer. And a number of weeks ago, we finally got a look at the OnePlus 7 Pro. I have a couple of videos about it already here on my channel, but the phone is not the only reason why we get excited. We also get excited over their lifestyle products, their accessories, and their audio products are no exception. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? This is my review of the OnePlus Bullets Wireless 2. All right, anybody out there who thought that OnePlus would actually go into the truly wireless space, you might be a little bit disappointed here, but that's okay because you get this neckband version, which makes it so that these headphones are a lot harder to lose. The material all the way from the neckband to the actual earbuds themselves is of a matted plastic. It gives it a nice feel and it's not that bad to wear all day long. You barely even notice it's there, of course, until you feel those earbuds dangling near your chest. Just like with the previous edition, the earbuds do magnetically stick together and this also allows for play and pause functionality, which you can have if you use this with a OnePlus phone. However, you can still turn off the earbuds by just putting them together and then undoing them with whatever phone you're using. It just won't auto automatically play right away. Indeed, the best way to use the OnePlus Bullets Wireless 2 is with the OnePlus 7 Pro currently. It is their current flagship. It has all of these extra functions in here, including that play and pause functionality uh, that is available in the headset options. In general, this is still a good Bluetooth headset. You can use it with any phone. You just have to press this little button here on the left side of the neckband in order to start the pairing process. If you double tap that button, you can also go back to the previous uh, device that it remembers. That way you can easily switch between two different phones, which is something that I have to do usually because I'm usually carrying more than one device. But the one comment I want to make is that the magnet is not quite as strong as last year's. Uh, while you have this maybe tucked under like a sweater or a hoodie, uh, or maybe you just accidentally knock it with your hand, uh, it can come apart pretty easily, which means that when you have it connected to a OnePlus phone, your music will start blaring out of these. The inline controls are on the left earbud, so no matter what device you're using, you still have control over the volume and also play and pause. Press the play and pause button a few times and you can go back in the track list or forward if you press it twice. Now we can finally get into the sound quality, which I have to say, these triple drivers here do a wonderful job. As far as Bluetooth headphones are concerned, these might be up there with some of the best, uh, which means that the price point is actually quite good for anybody that's looking for a reliable piece of audio equipment that they can have around their neck at all times, and it's also super convenient to use. These headphones support Aptex HD, a great codec for wireless audio that is available on a lot of current flagship smartphones, including the OnePlus 7 Pro. The lows are pronounced, but they're not super bass heavy, which might be better for most users out there, unless you really want to get that bump in bass in your ears, but the mids and the highs are all done quite well. There are a number of different situations where these came in handy, and the main reason why is because of the battery life and the charging, which I'll get to in a little bit. I have used these headphones in the gym, and even though I was sweating it out, there were no problems whatsoever with these falling out of my ears, even though some wingtips would have been nice to really secure them into my ear canal. Probably my favorite situation that I've used these in so far, and the one that I'll probably use them for moving forward, it was for travel. Even on planes, even though I would love to have noise-canceling headphones, these were perfectly fine to have. And I had one particular situation where this was solidified. I was on a flight to New York City. Actually, I was going to the very launch where these were announced. And uh, on the plane, I only had about 30% left on these headphones before I got onto that five, six hour flight. In the middle of the flight, they ran out of battery. Well, USB-C warp charging got these back to 80% of battery life in just about 12 to 13 minutes, which was awesome. I just had to sit back, rest a little bit, and after about 10 to 15 minutes, get these off of the charger, put them back into my ears, and with no time really wasted at all, I had my music back, or rather my audiobooks back for that whole flight. That quick charging is so useful, and that's the reason why these have found a home around my neck more often than not. So with all of that in mind, there's ease of use, these are hard to lose, there's great sound, uh, good functionality, and they pair nicely with pretty much any device, but of course are best with a OnePlus phone. And all of that for about $100, which is actually not bad for a reliable pair of earbuds that you could probably use for a long time to come. I think $100 is perfect for these. So I want to know what you guys think about these headphones in the comment sections down below. If you got yourself a pair as well, uh, let's talk about that too. Let me know what your experience has been with these, and honestly over the last few weeks, uh, these have been so awesome to use. 
By the way, the OnePlus 7 Pro final review, I'm waiting for the Almond version of the phone to come out, and then I'll give you my thoughts on the uh, general experience. I already had some thoughts about the camera that you might have heard me say over on the Pocket Now Weekly podcast. But in any case, you can look forward to all of that by subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Drop some likes on these videos so I know you like what I'm doing, and then get into the comment sections where I will try my best to respond to a few of them. There are so many of them, but I also have another way of responding to some of these comments that you'll see pretty soon. With all of that said, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, I'll just remind you to enjoy your tea, everybody.